Are you feeling like you're spread a little thin? You're trying to do all the things and yet you feel like you're super unproductive? Or does that one little tiny thing, you know if it lands on your plate, it's going to totally break the camel's back and your house of cards is going to come falling down. Today's conversation is time management versus energy management. Thank you and welcome back, friends. Your human design professional and your BG5 business and career consultant, Leanne Wolf. Today's conversation is time management actually real? Is that actually something that we can do? So, this is the question that I get from my clients as well. I see this posted a lot in business groups. How can I manage my time better? (laughs) What I love is that time management really, truly is a myth. It's not real. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, 365 days a year, blah, 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 whatever. We all have this exact, we're living in the exact same time structure matrix. Okay. Now, can you manipulate time? Mm, Yep. And it has nothing to do with managing time at all. And I'll get into that in a little bit. But I want to just drop into what's the heart and soul of human design? What's what's the core teaching? The core teaching is decision making. What is decision making doing for you? Well, decision making is telling you what is best for you to utilize your energy towards. That's what it does for you. So it's not about managing the time. It's actually about energy management. That's what decisions get to do for us. So one of the other questions I also get is, how do I set boundaries? Mm, Get really freaking good at decision making. That saves a lot of freaking time spent and (laughs) a lot of mental distraction and dysfunction. When you get really good at decision making, no matter what goes on in the world, you know that you're managing your energy correctly for you. So I just want to pop in and just do a couple things here. Just This is just going to kind of be a Coles Note version because, of course, when I look at human design, I go to the holistic view. And when clients work with me and they're in my coaching program, that's exactly what I do for them. I take the holistic view. Now, I'm going to give you a Coles Notes version of that today so that, you know, (laughs) I don't have your design in front of me. So it's impossible for me to tell you what your energy management is. However, there's a few things that go into this. Some people, okay, some people need a structure, especially if you are left brain body, left mind. That's the sun earth variables. Having a structure is important. Now, of course, if I were to go deeper into the design, it all depends on your human design type. It depends on which uh, channels that you have. It depends on um, the the tone and the color, the base of of the the nodal structure as well. But today, we're just going to just look at the variables of the sun earth. And you can start there and, and, and lean into, okay, which one feels better for me? So left brain body, left mind is quite logical, which means it wants to have a structure. It wants to have a schedule. And some people, if this is you, you do work really well by laying out your day. By having that ability to write down each hour what it is that you are going to put your energy towards. Now, let me again kind of digress a little bit. And and I want you to recognize something. You want to use your human design decision making. And your inner authority. Is this something that you responded to? Is this something you were invited and recognized into? Is this something that has been initiated? by the outside world, or is it is something that you have been moved towards and initiated by the universe? 
So you want to get clear on that and know, ah, I did make this decision. I am choosing, I'm making a, a choice here to use my, my energy towards this particular task, or maybe it's, it's a vacation, maybe it, it, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. But as long as you've made that decision internally, and you know that you need structure, you need a structure to your day, then, then pencil it in, write it in there. So that at nine o'clock, you know, you're doing this at 10 o'clock, you know, you're doing this at 11 o'clock, you know, you're doing this, you're having lunch at this time, whatever it is that you have already made the decision to engage with. Okay. And if you need structure, if you're left brained, um, left brain body, left mind, then do it, go for it, make that structure, place yourself into that. That's excellent. Okay. What that does, you know, something does pop up, you know, be kind to yourself. Be kind to having to move something on, on your calendar. Or if that isn't a decision, if moving it is not a decision that your physical um, body has been uh, has made for you, something pops up and it's like, nope, I am not getting interrupted today, then stick to it. Stick to your schedule. Stick to your structure. Now, some of us, including me, I am right brain bodied, right mind. I need flow. And a lot of you guys have seen my chart. I included it in most of my early videos. I'm also a manifesting generator. So I respond, I respond, I respond, sacral, sacral driven. So once I respond to it, I wasn't going to show you guys my stack of uh, sticky notes, but <laughs> okay, I will. I'll show you the stack of sticky notes. What the heck? So I got a whole bunch of sticky notes, okay? So I respond to something. I write it down. That's what I do. And then it's here in my office. And I leave it for my visual, my visual cues. Sometimes I go back to it. And it happens. Sometimes it doesn't happen. I allow for the flow of the energy to move me. So if there's a response, I put it down. If there's a response, I put it down. So a lot of these videos that you're seeing on human or on, on my YouTube channel, on my Facebook group, all of that, this has all been pulled out of me from a response. Then I write it down and when I get moved into the action of doing it, then I cross it off. If I do this with my housework. I do it with everything. I do this with uh, like stuff that needs to be done around the farm. I do this with the uh, like the creating my content, doing all I have to be in flow. There's no, I, there's no structure. It's just sitting there waiting. And I know that it needs to be created and if I'm moved, I do it. Now, of course, there's a lot of other things that are in my design that also support me in that. And here's the other thing. My outside connection with people, I need to have a schedule. So I have a link to a, a calendar so that my clients can book in with me. Well, I need to have that. So what I've done is I've created days in the calendar where it's just days where they're totally, you know, like time slots that are just for me to just do whatever, respond, flow, be whatever. Then there's other times in, in the week where clientele can book in. And I know that. And again, there's a flow state here happening. And I work with the universe. Hopefully you do too. If it's correct for a client to book in and for my time to be utilized there, then the universe will bring them into the calendar and place them there. That's how I work with the universe. I'm hoping you do the same as well. Because the universe is also, or the flat earth plane, or whatever you want to call it, the energy of source is the emotional manifesting generator. So it gets to respond to 
my open slots? Like, where can the clients come in? Where does, um, you know, for example, I, I enjoy gardening. Where does that fall into my day? I just open up the space and allow for what needs to happen, happen so that I can be in a state of flow. So I hope this makes sense to you. And now what, what I, I'm going to give you a huge, like, again, a caveat. This is, this is very um, Cole's notes version because again, depending on what kind of channels that you have in your design, depending on um, what streams they are in, uh, depending on all of that kind of stuff, there's, there's layers of it. There can be different dichotomies that happen. So I might be saying to you structure with a left brain, left, left mind. And you're like, that doesn't hold any water for me. I'd rather be in the flow state. And that's okay because I don't know your entire design. So don't get caught up in just one thing. Okay. That's the, that's the, ee, that's the part of design that scares me is that you, he, you know, I, I get this lots clients read one sentence from somebody else's perspective and they're like, oh, human design this, human design that, or they use it as an excuse. I, th that's not the purpose of anything that I do. I don't want you to use it as an excuse. I want you to actually embody the holistic energy of it and experiment with it. Okay. So lean into rightness, leftness. And what I'm going to say here as well is human design in this moment, we are intransitous. We are moving from left. We're moving into right. So inside of that, there can be, again, the, the blending of the two. Like I said, I enjoy being in the flow state, but I also need, know that I need to have some kind of structure so that my clients can book in with me. Right? So that blending, so don't get caught up in one way or another. you got to lean into what's right for you. Like I, I know, like I have people in my life that like their daily planner is in their purse. All they do is look at their calendar constantly and they're like, okay, I'm doing this now. I'm doing this now. I'm doing this now. And that makes me feel claustrophobic. So that's what I get to teach in, in my programs. And when clients work with me, they get to go, oh, they lean in and they take a breath because they've been trying to do business one way and it burns them out either mentally, physically, or both. So I lean you guys into doing it in the way that's correct for your holistic body. Okay. So play with this. Do you need structure? Do you need flow? Do you do a blend of both? Lean into what that looks like for you. And again, caveat, <laughs> decision making, that is the only way to move on this planet at this time for your correctness. And just so you know, enrollment's open. If you want to move into creating a service-based business, coaching business, or consulting business that absolutely lets you be you with no, um, no need for apology. You get a permission slip to literally run a business from your energy field. All right. Have fun, friends. <laughs>